What's going on everyone? This is John, the Wolf of Ecom. In this video, I'm super excited to share with you Go Login. Go Login is one of the main competitors to multi-login. Now, full disclosure, I use both software. So I'm just gonna give you the honest truth and the differences that I've seen after having quite a, quite a bit of experience with both. Now, as you know, if you follow this channel for any time, I have been heavy, heavy, heavy uh, multi-login all the way. But honestly, since starting to use Go Login over the last few months, I've seen it's very similar in many ways. And we're gonna dive into it a little bit so you could actually see the difference and make a decision for yourself. I'll also include a link that is going to also give you a discount if you choose to give it a shot. I believe they've offered a free month trial for anyone that wants to actually test out the software, see how it is for yourself. Uh, you just gotta use my coupon code. And yes, that is an affiliate link, full disclosure as well. Totally up to you if you want to just bypass me, go directly to them and try to find a, a, a coupon code or a free trial. You're welcome to do whatever you want. I'm just here to share with you how this software works and why it might benefit you. Okay, so let's start by talking about the differences in the, the user interface, right? So the difference between using this offer versus using multi-login, right? So if we look at multi-login, we have all of our browser sessions, we would hit start and it would load up the browser that we wanna use with the profile we wanna use. Now, it's basically the same exact thing with go login, okay? So if I wanna launch this guy, I would just hit run. I don't know if I have a profile signed here, we probably wanna look at these one of these other ones. Nonetheless, it loads up and I could go to my dedicated website. So very similar. I find it's a little bit faster actually, but I'm not a, technically as knowledgeable as like a developer would be, for example, where I can actually understand the differences in the security features and functions of each software, right? So I'm just sharing this from, from a basic user experience as a, someone that manages a lot of Facebook accounts for myself and others, and just what my honest opinion is. So as far as simplicity, uh, it's basically the same. It's a little more simple in some ways. Uh, it's definitely faster of software than multi-login. But once again, I don't know if something's being not implemented that multi-login has. I'm just telling you my honest experience, right? So you would use this just like you would with multi-login. You got your browser session, you'd run. Okay, if I wanna add more profiles, go new profile, name the profile, test profile, always use a proxy, so HTTP. And just like when we're adding with multi-login, it's basically the same thing, except multi-login gives you these options if you wanna set it up on a different operating system. They, they recommend that it's best you match your, so if you're always gonna be operating on a Mac, you wanna do it from a Mac within their software, right? So it doesn't look like that's an option Oh, no, I stand corrected. You're, you're hearing it live, I was wrong. So you can actually do the same exact thing here, right? Okay, proxies, same thing, proxy settings. It should keep, you can see it's super similar, right? Time zone, that's interesting. WebRTC, these functions should be available on multi-login as well. Ah, that's what it was. Come back, WebRTC, WebRTC. So you can see it's super similar, super, super similar. Geolocation, right? Advanced, let's see. Should be able to turn off your hardware. Really important too, if you're getting the, we wanna double check your identity by making sure that we can see you on video. Yeah, that's, you would basically just turn these off, right? So same exact thing, mask on the devices, off, on. Right, so very, very similar, so many ways, okay. All right, so when it comes to features, functions, it's almost identical. You can group things in a similar way as well. So once I create this profile, we'll get out of here, okay? And then your folders are gonna be for grouping profiles, right? Create folder. Profiles, if I want to move, uh, add the folder, I would just 
organize my profiles in that way, okay? But pretty cool stuff. All right, so now you can see the features and functions are, are almost identical. All right, so now let's look at the difference in what a lot of you are probably gonna be wondering. Now that you see that features and functions are very similar, there's definitely some differences. Once again, I am, I am not the creator or the developer of either one of these software, so uh, I'm not gonna go super in depth saying things I don't fully understand. But what I will tell you is user experience, very similar, go logins faster. In my opinion, I mean, I don't know yet. Right, but multi-login was the first one on the scene. Theoretically, technically they should be the, the better one, but I, I think both softwares at this point are worth using, okay? Whether it's to maintain a smaller plan, right? Or for some other reason, let's look at prices, features, and functions, okay? So we'll look at monthly, just so it's apples to apples. This one, the professional is $49 a month, whereas multi-login is for the similar thing as $99 a month, okay? This gives you 100 browser sessions, 100 browser sessions, amount of times you can share a browser profile. So you can, I guess, export, right? Here, you can only export on the team plan, right? Which gives you 300 profiles and three additional team members, okay? So that's, it's similar in many ways, like this one, well, it's it's more, right? It's more expensive to do multi-login, but it's similar in, in features, functions, benefits. They just give you different packages, right? So for 200 euro a month, which is a little bit over 200 USD a month, you're gonna get 300 browser sessions and three team members. For $100 a month with Go Login, you're gonna get 300 browsers, browser profiles, you could share a hundred times and you get 10 team members. And there's also an Android app, which you get I guess, both and you do cloud launches. So I can, I can launch from, this is something that you will not get with multi-login, which I found really interesting. So I could actually launch it within this software or not the software, this browser, right? So this is gonna sync and then it's gonna open up another tab right here in a second. So I don't need to have the application open. Now, is this better when it comes to profile health, showing Facebook what it wants to see? It may be, uh, it's hard to say. We don't really know what Facebook does and doesn't like, but look, I can launch this thing inside of my browser itself, still showing the, uh, there we go. It's a computer inside a computer. Boom, there we go. So it does it give you an extra layer of protection with Facebook, hides your, your uh, Mac address, maybe a little more masks it, or whatever this software is supposed to do in that way. Maybe, I don't know. I, I haven't seen it to make a nine day difference. Using both softwares has had a great outcome for me, right? I'm not, I, I'm, I use both. I, I haven't set my heart on one yet, but I wanted to highlight both, okay? Just so you can really see and understand the differences. Like for the same price point, I, I think it's no brainer that Go Logging gives you more bang for your buck, right? Because a lot of the, let's see, so $200 a month for Go Login gives you a thousand profiles, you could share a thousand times and 20 team members. Whereas for $200 a month, you get 303 team members, okay? Well, I should go to USD. There you go. You can actually see the USD based on today's exchange rates. So two hundred, so twenty six dollars more a month gives you theoretically less on paper. Okay, but what I recommend you do is you take 10, 20 profiles on multi login, ten to twenty profiles on go login. Make sure you're using the same process, the same structure, ideally the same. Uh, a plan and strategy that I share in my Bulletproof Guide. Check that out in the video, uh, the link below this video if you haven't already. And that's gonna give you a true test drive to see what is and isn't better between the two softwares. Because ultimately it's gonna matter uh, usability, how, how simple it is to use each, how effective each uh, software is at separating you from Facebook to protect your accounts. And then everything from there is, is really up up to you and, and what your opinion is of it. But what I recommend is uh, start with the trial. If you've been using multi-login and you love it, great, keep doing it. If you wanna just try something different, click the link underneath this video to get a trial, use the code that's there, 
Like I said, it's an affiliate link, but it should give you, uh, I believe right now they're offering a free month, which is awesome. Just for you to try it out and see if you like it. If not, just export your your browser sessions over to multi-login and keep going there if that's what you've been doing. So anyways, just wanna share this with you guys. I'm sure you're gonna love it. I'm sure this is going to be a game changer for you in, in some ways, unless you're super happy already and nothing, you don't wanna fix it if it's not broken. But anyways, make sure to check out my free guide below this video, get your trial for this software below this video with Go Login, and I'll see you in the next video.